The leader of Al Qaeda and one of the world's most wanted terrorists has been killed in a U.S. drone strike in Kabul. President Biden addressed the nation from the White House, capping a 21 year manhunt. The U.S. government had a $25 million bounty on his head. He was listed as one of the world's most wanted terrorists. And last night, President Biden announced Justice has been delivered, and this terrorist leader is no more. Ayman al Zawahri was dead. Biden called him the mastermind behind the attack on the USS Kohl in Yemen in 2000, a key player in the bombings of American embassies in Kenya and Tanzania in 1998, and said he helped Osama bin Laden plan September 11th. Here they are together. I can hear you. The rest of the world hears you. 22 years ago, President George W. Bush promised the terrorists behind the 9-11 attacks would be punished. 11 years ago, bin Laden was taken out. Al Zawahri has led al-Qaeda since then, even producing new videos in the last few weeks calling for new attacks on Americans. That's according to the president, who in a seven-and-a-half-minute speech reminded the world the promise made two decades and multiple presidents ago was kept. That no matter how long it takes, no matter where you hide, if you are a threat to our people, the United States will find you and take you out. It is rare to hear similar messages from President Biden and Senator Ted Cruz, but we did. In a statement, Cruz called this an important accomplishment, adding, quote, the strike should be a message to terrorists near and far. If you conspire to kill Americans, we will find and kill you.